What is going on? Sean here with Rooted Reality. It appears the early leaked images of that white Quest headset is actually going to be the Quest 2. Really excited about this. There's some good news and some not so good news. Let's take a look at this new trailer and then we'll talk about some of those. Whether you're a VR vet or a total newbie, let me introduce you to your next headset, Oculus Quest 2. Quest 2 is our most advanced all-in-one VR system yet. Setup is easy, and in no time, you'll be immersed in an expansive library of amazing games and experiences. Operation is good. If you're new to VR, this is a great time and a great device to get started on. Welcome to the club. It's streamlined, light, and the new soft touch strap is easier than ever to slip on and off. There's six gigabytes of RAM and a new blazing fast Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform. And all this power and speed is going to an almost 4K display. That's more pixels to experience the wonders of the world in all their breathtaking glory and make the stars of the curious tale of the stolen pets cuter and fluffier than anything digital ought to be. And since games get bigger as they get better, you can get Quest 2 with 256 gigabytes of storage built in. 3D positional audio adds another layer of realism, adapting as you move. And the controllers are our best yet, updated with new ergonomics for an even more comfortable experience. And for the ultimate in immersion, some experiences even allow you to ditch the controllers and use your hands instead. So cool. go, the library is massive and growing every day. Some of my favorites are Beat Saber, Phantom Covert Ops, Vader Immortal, and Arizona Sunshine. All the Quest titles work on Quest 2, and gaming is just the beginning. There's literally something for everyone. Immersive 360 videos, Netflix, live theater, 3D art pieces, concerts. And it's VR that's ready when you are. No PC or console needed. Once you set up with the Oculus smartphone app, you'll have everything you need to explore virtual worlds with just a headset and controllers. And no matter where you end up traveling, <laughs> Guardian helps keep you safe so that you don't bump into any furniture. Now I gotta get back to finding those pets. See you in VR. So the good news, an XR2 chip how amazing is that? We're going from a Snapdragon 835 to a Qualcomm XR2 chip that we know is going to be blazingly fast compared to the old 835. That is excellent news. Also, they're saying almost 4K panels. I don't know what exactly that means, but almost 4K panel sounds pretty good. Uh, one thing that's not so great about this, we're seeing a soft head strap. This is the same head strap that looks like what was on the original Oculus Go. Don't know how this is gonna be for comfort. I was really hoping they would do something similar to a deluxe audio strap or something like that for the new Quest 2. So we're gonna have to see how that works out. They're saying 3D positional audio, but it looks like the same built-in audio drivers into the headband that are gonna be pumping the volume into your ears instead of actual over-ear headphones or off-ear headphones, something like the Valve Index that I would have loved to have seen. Another positive is that they have upped the RAM. They're looking at six gigabytes of RAM in the Quest 2 compared to four gigabytes of RAM that was in the original Oculus Quest. Also the storage space, we're looking at a model of a 64 gig, which was the same as the original Quest. You could get a 64 or a 128 in the original. Now you're looking at a 64 or a 256, which is great. I have the 64 gig model. I constantly have to delete uh, programs and games and apps and stuff to download more stuff. Not my favorite thing, it's doable, but I am looking forward to having a 256 gig model that has much more storage space. So they have changed the color of the headset. It is going to be a white headset as we saw in those early images. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be other improvements that we don't really know about they talked about hand tracking i'm sure the hand tracking is going to be improved i'm sure it's going to have better external cameras so possibly color pass through i would imagine facebook connect is literally coming up in two days it's on wednesday so we're going to find out all the official information they're going to give us all the specs on this as far as we know from the early stuff we saw the 64 gig model is going to be 299 and the 256 gig model is going to be 399. So we'll have to wait and see, get to get all this confirmed at Facebook Connect. Really looking forward to it, but just the fact that this thing has an XR2 chip has me super excited. So can't wait to see more, and I'm definitely gonna pick, be picking one of these up. How about you guys? All right, that's it from here. We will see you guys later.